Oh, nice breaking ball, and that'll do it as the Cats are retired in order. McLeod gets the strikeout in a one, two, three inning. When they are itching to turn the page from last weekend. Well, Braylon Skinner, who we didn't know if he'd be in the lineup, first pitch he sees, slaps it down the line, and he'll wind up with a double. He's been bothered by a bad hamstring, and all he does is step to the plate. He's wearing this uniform right now, and he gets plunked by a pitch. That is the first hit batter of the year for Ryan Hagenow, and that'll get two. And he missed that one down. It's took something off of it, swing and a miss, and with the bases loaded, that'll be a strikeout. He's also grounded in to four double plays. This uh -oh. ball is lifted in the air to right. Rhodes to the track, makes the catch. That will get a run in. And the Bulldogs will take it, and they lead one to nothing, and runners will be at the corners. As an offensive unit. Got one there. Ground ball to third. Scooped up by Reuben Church across the diamond. Well, the Bulldogs pick up a, a, a run. Hey, everyone. Wheels here. I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button because over 80% of you watching right now are not subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Swing and a miss. There's a strikeout out number two and the second strikeout of the game for Christian McLeod. Breaking ball's been good, but he goes fastball. And that one is delivered to right field in a one hop off the wall. Tanner Allen will chase it down, but Colton Kessler doing it again. His fifth double of the K teams in Tennessee over the years, but he was always good. That one's out to right, but right at Tanner Allen. Like it was, okay, right. Florida's first mm -hmm. and then who else, right? And, you know, Florida's 16 and out of, and he hasn't quite gotten it going yet. He goes the other way with it, and that'll drop in for a base hit. Responded in the, in the, the bottom of the first. And the way he responded here in the bottom of the second was quite impressive. Settled in at the second base spot this year. Mm. How about McLeod? Fell behind 3-0, came back to get the strikeout looking. Instead, here he is playing shortstop in the SEC. Little check swing strikeout. That'll be out number two and back-to-back -back case. The first inning gave up a run, and he hits Jordan again. The eighth time Rowdy's been hit this year. Get Rowdy in motion. That one is slapped as Jordan was going down the right field line. Let's see if that's enough. They will hold him at third. So first and third now for the Bulldog with this one out. Lifted in the air to center field. Schultz is there. This should be good enough to get the run home. Jordan will tag and he will score easily. So another sacrifice fly for Luke Hancock and it's two to nothing Mississippi State. And there is the walk. It'll be first and second. Some pitchers, if you feel like right back to Hagenow, who will get out of this inning, that you can bring a few extra pitchers down and help yourself out when you think you might need those arms. That's well, the gonna to, they're going to have to readjust their, uh, their mindset a little bit as McLeod gets the strikeout. Two up, two down rather quickly. Got him. Inning is over. McLeod with a sweeping breaking ball. Collette didn't like it, but that'll do it for the cat. The 3 2 misses down, and the leadoff batter reaches base. Bro, I mean, when those boys come to town, hide the batting averages. Did it hit him? They're going to say so. So, Forsyth. They are now loaded. Boy, and Kameen is just, when he misses, it's really a miss. But that'll get a run home. De Bruyne touches the plate. They, they have been dodging bullets. Boy, wow. that's a good fastball. The 2-2 on the way. That one's in there for a strike, and another strikeout for McLeod. But 
Another swing and a miss, and that is back-to-back -back case now for McLeod, who's starting to rack them up. Change up. And there it is. You're talking about strikeouts against the... Boy, that one's up and in, and that'll be another free pass. Kind of who they are, or do they have some more juice in there that we just haven't seen yet? Warning track power on that fly ball out to center off the bat of lane Forsyth and that home plate. He popped off that mound like he knew mm -hmm. that was striked. Line and there's a base hit to left. Just the second hit of the night for the Kentucky Wildcats. McLeod. Mm. And he threw him the breaker. Inning is over. Rallies, extend rallies. Jordan lifts that one high in the air to right, and oh. it is gone. Home run, Rowdy Jordan. Get up and do it. That's the kind of home run celebrations we like to see, Dave Neal. Rowdy Jordan, they've been waiting for him to get hot. A couple of HBPs earlier in this ball game, but that one right there, he turns around. Watch how short this barrel is to the front of his own. Boom, in the blink of an eye, he gets the barrel out in front of him. And I don't know that he got all of that one, but just enough to creep it over the right field wall. John Rhodes is probably going to be disappointed he didn't get a better jump off there. T.J. Collette. Sharply hit and kicked out at short by Forsyth. Tried to slap it through the left side. They had the shift on. Mm -hmm. And boy, we just talked yesterday at length with Coach Lamonis about the shift and how much he buys into it. No matter how you choose to play it. And there's a two out walk. Oh, that one sails over the glove of Logan Tanner, and that will get a run in. And the Cats finally stretch here. It is a 4-1 to -one game. <laughs> 90 miles an hour lifted in the air to left. Skinner is there, makes the catch. But Kentucky gets one across. You can't keep up. It's, it's really, really hard. You're right. What an SEC play to start the season. Line shot off the bat of Ryan Ritter to start things. Here in the top of the eighth. Ooh. Well, that'll be ball four. Ground ball right side, but right to DeBrule, and that'll do it. Harding does his job. We will head to the bottom of the eighth inning. I've put him on the shelf to be determined when we'll see him again. A little check swing. That's going to be a tough play and no play at all, as a matter of fact, for Ryan Ritter. <laughs> Slap to the left side. That'll be a base hit. The runners will be at the corners, and Skinner wins that battle. Ground ball. To short. That one's kicked by Ritter. Two errors on the left side of the infield, and it's now a 5 1 game. Watch how hard Ritter comes to get this one. So he's trying real hard to turn this double. Watch here. Cole will look in, or excuse me, Daniels will look in, same as. Line into the gap and left. That'll get one in. Could it get three? Yes, it will. They all score. Skinner, Jordan, and Allen. And Cameron James with a double and three runs batted in. That one was 104 miles an hour off the bat. Well, you just had a, at some point, State was going to throw a punch. It had been kind of 
some paper cuts up to this point, but there's the big gash in the wound, a, a bullet to left center field off the bat of Cameron James. So many run scoring opportunities, especially early in this ball game, and Mississippi State just couldn't quite pull away, but on an inning where, here he is. <laughs> the old dog. Let's see who gets this one. Well, this is definitely Church. <laughs> Although you know on the corner of his eye, he was checking to see he if was Ritter was coming it. over. Something tells me that one's a little deeper. They had to shift on and they throw it away. Well, you'll take it any way you can get it after a full game losing streak. Right back to Simmons. He will throw to first and this one is in the books. The Bulldogs get the opening game as they beat Kentucky 8 to 1. They allow five hits but they strike out 15 Kentucky Wildcats.